Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the append method in JavaScript. Okay, so basically this method right here is quite useful because it lets you append multiple nodes or elements um, to a parent node or element at once. So essentially, it's a nice alternative to having to call append child multiple times to append multiple children to a parent node. Okay, so it supports a combination of text, text nodes, and elements. And it works in all of the modern browsers, but unfortunately, Internet Explorer is going to need a polyfill. Alright, so um, let's go inside the text editor right here. I'm going to show you how it actually works. So, inside here, uh, let's begin by making a new div, which we're going to be appending nodes to. So we can say right here, uh, div with a um, with an ID of my div just like this, and we can then get a reference to this div within JavaScript by of course saying something like const my div is equal to document dot element by ID and pass in here my div. So now um, we're going to be creating two elements which we're going to be appending to the div. So Let's say down here, first off, uh, const strong is equal to document dot create element and pass in here strong. So this will be, of course, a new strong element or strong tag, whatever you want to call it. Okay, do the same thing for an em tag, so an emphasized text tag or element. All right, and then let's go down here and simply set some text content for these two elements for a bit of clarity. So we can say strong dot text content is equal to here um, something like strong for example and do the same thing for the EM and we can make this something like emphasized. Okay so now we have uh, these two elements set up we can now use the append method to of course append them both at once to the div. So we can say my div dot append just like this and um, you can pass in here essentially an endless list of um, arguments. So we can say strong and then em. So now it's going to append both these nodes to the div in this particular order. So I'm going to save this here and refresh and we can see here we get strong and emphasized. In the console, sorry, in the uh, inspector, we can see, of course, the div, we have the strong element, and of course, the em element. So it works just fine. Okay? So, um, that example right there, of course, covered uh, two HTML elements. So what about text nodes? So, if you want to append just simple text to this div, we can firstly, right here, say const my text node is equal to document dot create element sorry uh, create text node and pass in here of course as usual your data or your text so for example some simple text just like this and then because of course um, a text node is a type of node it can be supported and passed in to this method so we can say right here as a third argument my text node so now we have a node, a node, and a node, of course an HTML elements, and so two of those HTML elements, and of course a text node. But they're all of type node, which is why it works just fine. Save this, refresh once again, and we see here simple text. In the inspector, of course we get those two elements, and then we get the text node right here. So pretty simple stuff and uh, definitely very useful. So, uh, what about um, appending just text? So, of course, we just covered, um, you know, doing a text node, but you can actually pass in a string to this append method, and it's going to essentially just create a new text node um, behind the scenes for your string, and then append it to the actual element. So, for example, if I was to pass in right here um, some more text, okay, here, of course, this is a string and not a node, but it still works. It's going to take this, essentially make a new text node from it, and then append it to the div. Alrighty, save this, refresh. We see here we get the text appearing perfectly fine. And here in the uh, inspector, we can see here we get a separate text node 
for the sum more text. If I was to go on the console and say my div um, dot uh, children, sorry, uh, dot child nodes, this node list will give us, of course, the strong, the em, and the two texts right there. So, um, as I said, this here requires an internet, sorry, uh, requires a polyfill for Internet Explorer. But other than that, it's definitely a very useful tool for your uh, JavaScript arsenal. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.